but every once in a while you get caught up in, in where you're at and and, uh, and what's going on around you. You know, from, from my end and equipment end, these guys have been uh, you know, very low maintenance and everybody's, um, uh, you know, very polite and, and, uh, and like I say, just a lot of great leadership. It, 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 we have a really, really good locker room, um, which, uh, which is extremely important. The trainers probably do a majority of the work from the day-to-day -day workings of it with the taping and icing and doing some of the, the treatments you know, that need to be done on some of the players. We uh, take care of all the medical needs of the, of the team. Um, that includes you know, pre-game uh, exercises, um, rehab or taping or stretching, um, you know, obviously the game practice coverage and then uh, post-game stretches and uh, any type of icing rehab. So normally I'm here for the players to help them out when they got healthy or injuries, anything like that. So I'm the guy who make all the massage therapy, so I go for the muscle stuff and everything, and I for blockaded stuff in the body, like the veins and everything. Any of the major emergencies that happen, like somebody gets a laceration, a fracture, a major injury to a bone or joint, or even just dealing with some of the flu or some of the medical illnesses, that's basically what I'm I'm here. People think equipment manager, they're, they're going to first of all think of uh, sharpening skates and, and that is a, a main focus on what, what I do day to day for these guys. But, but you know, there's a lot of uh, little repairs and, and making sure uh, everything's organized and ready for players. Our, our mission really is, and, and my mission is, is to, is to allow coaches to coach and, and players to play um, and, you know, make sure they can just walk into their room and and have their stuff ready and, and, and hit the ice ready to go. Every night I see a team play and there's probably been at least one or two players that I've, I've had the opportunity to work with over the last several years and that's the fun part. You see these kids progress. And, you know, anytime you get it, if it's, you know, obviously the World Juniors is one of the best events, but if it's even if it's a U18 or U17 event, it's always an honor to, uh, to represent your country uh, overseas or, you know, it's even more special when it's, when it's home here in Buffalo.